Within this video, we are going to talk about resilience. In particular, the ability to bounce back after an unsuccessful interview or application process. So you've not been successful in an application or interview or somebody said no. Within this video, I'm going to share a few top tips to help you out when specifically in the situation, but also after the situation has arose so you can learn, take positive steps and move forward in a productive way. Impulsivity. We can sometimes find it challenging to control our reactions to situations, which can often see us doing unhelpful things and being impulsive. Have you ever said something and then immediately regretted that later? That's you acting pure on impulse and emotions. Try not to rush into making decisions or acting without really thinking. Sometimes we need to take a step back to gather our thoughts before we can really make that positive step forward. Emotional awareness and control. Having the ability to understand how you feel is important, but also how to control the way you express those feelings so that they remain appropriate for a given situation. This doesn't mean that you can't feel disappointed or upset. It might just mean that you need to show this in a different way to how you would normally do that to ensure that it stayed appropriate for the situation that you are in. Positive thinking. Can you think about the situation in a helpful way? Have you learned something from your experience? Is there something that you know you can change the next time the situation arises? Being able to think things through proactively and finding solutions to your problems can help you with future goals. Something as simple as asking for feedback where possible can really help you plan for a future interview. Knowing where you didn't quite get it right or what you could do even better will really help you plan in a productive way. Self-confidence. Have the confidence and belief in your ability to achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. Just because somebody has said no this time doesn't mean that you have to give up. Having that self-confidence will help you overcome the challenges that you will face naturally along the way throughout the path that you follow in life. Empathy and connection. It's powerful to be able to put yourself in another person's shoes and understand that you're not alone in the challenges that you may be facing. The ability to connect with others and have positive relationships despite facing adversity and challenge can really be helpful. But it's about surrounding yourself with the people who want to help you. The people who want to lift you up rather than bringing you down. Having that positive mindset and having those around you who share the same mindset will really help. It's challenging to be able to move forward when people around you are being negative and telling you that you can't. And finally, hopefulness. Look positively towards your future. While things may not have gone to plan, try and find a positive meaning in every experience. 